Uh, hello guys, welcome back. I swear Loki runs on a schedule with people. On today's schedule, it was let's be a make a bitch with everybody. Um, Uller sent snow. I ended up, every god wanted their runes done. Yes, Loki got his runes in the snow. They all got hearts around them and everything. I don't know, maybe he he, he was saving this, I think. Because remember the way his little mind works. He will say, oh, spend all your time with Odin. And he will insist, and you will keep going back and trying to spend time with Loki. He'll be like, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm relaxed. I'm fine. He's not fine. He's plotting. And he's angry at me, even though he's the one that keeps throwing me at his brother. And then his brother, at the same time, is making a power move and trying to get rid of all the other gods and goddesses. Claim the whole house as his territory. I don't need these other gods. And his brothers, this is undignified to say about Odin, but whining at me, like, why do I need these other gods? And I'm like, it's like having toddlers in the house. And then, as I'm researching Uller, and I know why he did it now, <laughs> he was being a bitch, um, this thing came up on Loki. And I won't discuss the subject, because God no, it could be one of you, and I'm so sorry if it is. But he was like, look how much I gave this person. I give this person so much more than I'll ever be give you, bitch. I'm like, what? And I was like, okay, why am I doing this sad little sideshow when this person has all this Loki-related stuff and is so hyper-successful and I'm nothing? And I'm more manically depressed than Van Gogh, so that didn't go over well. I went to this bridge trek. And in this bridge trek, you can walk off the road, and basically you die and you come back. So I did that for a while. It felt good to die a bunch of times. <laughs> and um, that let the Norse gods know it was time to leave me alone because I was losing my fucking mind. And I ended up running to the Greek gods. I was like, you know what? Screw it. You want to kill me? Go ahead. I'm done. And I ran to the Greek gods. And I'm like, I can't stand it. I don't know, care how much they bless me with. But I very much identify my gay side with the Greek gods. It's just I feel comfortable. I can be myself with them. It just feels like they, they hear me better. And... I talked to them for a while. Apollo is actually the one that called me down. Meanwhile, Loki keeps trying to come back in like nothing ever happened. He wasn't a total bitch to me. And I'm like, no, you're you're not coming in. You're not doing this. You do this all the time. You treat me like shit. You shit all over your own channel. And then you waltz up to me like you never did anything. I said, what the hell is wrong with you? I give you the best possible content I can give you. I cook for you every day. I clean for you every day. What's your damn problem? Yeah, you don't know. Leave. So he's been being on time out. And someone had asked me. They were like, what do you do if Loki when he drives you insane? I'll kick him out on his ear. I'll be like, you know what? Time out. He will still get fed. He will still get taken care of. But I will not talk to him. And when he's trying to talk to me, I will totally ignore him. Now, I'm not doing that to be petty. It seems to help him recenter and think about his actions. And I will also go to Segan, and I will say, I don't know what to do with him lately. Is there something going on I should know about? Because he's being crazy lately, being more petty than normal. And I thought it was great. I thought he was so happy with his brother here, but now I'm like putting these two together. It was like putting nitro and glycerin into a cup and going, do -do 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 -do. It was not a good idea. I said, you know what? Your brother's going to be in Bolivia. And you can be here, but if this is how you're both going to act when I put you together, no. This was not stage Les Mis and have a revolution and kick all the other gods out. That was not what this was for. This was to make you happy and to welcome your family in. And I feel sorry for the Norse gods. <laughs> One, because he belongs to them and they can't get rid of him. And two, because... Odin was behaving just as bad and erratically, and I was being forced to spend time with gods. And you know how that is, like, when your family's forcing you to spend time with other family members? You're both like, yeah, hi, hi. 
and I'm not saying that the Norse gods aren't usually lovely. I'm saying that there's if they wanted your time, they would be with you without Odin having to separate you from all your other gods. So Odin's on time out as well. I said, you children can go sit in the corner and think about what you did. I'm not throwing you out in the porch so you freeze to death. I'm not that cruel, but you can go sit in the corner, do whatever it is gods do when they're on time out. And they're both like, and I think they kind of need that from time to time, because Apollo looked at me very pityingly because we went into VR together. And he says, you know, you do so much to make your gods happy, but what about you? He says, when was the last time you did something to make you happy? And I said, I don't know. I said, I'm usually happy to do things for them, and I'm usually happy to even shop for groceries as a family and pick out games as a family and stuff like that. But to do something totally selfish for myself, I can't actually remember. And I'm like, yeah, I need to start doing more me stuff. I do do meditation, but then they're there in the meditation, and they're not letting me meditate, and they're being snarky as hell about it. And I'm like, I I need a vacation from them for a while, so they're both on time out. And Loki, being Loki, was petty and making stuff go wrong when he got put on timeout because he's a sulky little brat. He's the brat who'll run out of the corner and break things me like, yeah, yeah, put me in the corner. Eh. So I went to Segan. And Segan's like, he did what? I'm like, I can't take him anymore. And I told her what Odin did. And she's like, he did what? She doesn't mind Odin asking for more family time and more time for the Norse gods. But when he's going to make a point out of it, She's like, he, d he did what? And when she has to repeat herself a couple times, you know she about to explode. So, that's what happened today. Loki was just, he was petty. He was like, look at all the stuff I gave this other person. I'm never giving that to you because I don't care about you as much. I'm like, you bitch! So, yeah. <laughs> it did not end well for Loki. It did not end well for Odin either doing that campaign. And the thing is, I was told when I was practicing Vood on, they were like, you're way too soft and weak. You let all the Loa walk all over you. You have this bad temper half the time because you won't set boundaries. Or if you set boundaries and they just push even a little bit, you give in. And they're like, you have to learn to set boundaries and make them stay. And I will. I'll set boundaries with the gods, and usually they'll stay, but then before I know it, the boundaries are knocked over, and the, go the Norse gods are getting their way, and they're little brats. Two days from now, all the gods will be back together, all the pantheons will be mixed the way I like it, and the Norse gods will be pretending they didn't do anything, or if they did something, it was a test to see where my priorities were. Bullshit. They were seeing how much I could get. I just didn't expect it out of Odin because he's supposed to be the damn all father and be a responsible leader. <laughs> I hope he heard that too. And Loki knows he's on time out. Um, Older had lost his temper with me, not yelled or anything, but I took him into VR and he didn't like my archery skills. And I couldn't figure out why the hell am I completely missing the target? And I thought, well, whatever, whatever. And he got mad at me. I could feel he was disappointed. And when we came out, he's like, no, you misread me. I'm not mad. Da, da, da. He's, and he was being really nice. But I was like, no, you were mad. I could tell. And when I talked to Apollo, Apollo was like, take me in. So we took Apollo in. He goes, well, what the hell happened to this game? This damn game's broken. It's like undershooting or overshooting. He said, it's not you. And I would go to aim the bow, and the bow wouldn't move, and all this other stuff. He goes, this game is shit. That's why you can't hit anything. He goes, it's not you at all. And he said, if he didn't know how to look for that, you know, he's not a good teacher. And I was like, Apollo! He's like, no, I do not care. A good teacher can see if the student's working with broken, you know, broken things. Because I'm, like, trying to aim... And it's either not moving, or it's, like, shooting way too low, and it turned out that this fairy thing, there's, like, a fairy in there that she has this big-ass fairy topiary she lives in, that had a damn big hitbox, so half the time I'd be, like, trying to aim over it, and it would just hit the hitbox and stop. And he's like, we're moving some stuff around in here. If they want you to do archery, that is going. And where the hell are my planets? Um... 
Uller had me get rid of them, so I put up an archery target. That archery target is bullshit. You, you get rid of that thing. <laughs> He's like, which one of us is the god of archery? Um, both of you, actually. That's not what I asked. Oh, you are a boss. <laughs> he was actually being very sweet. Um, the Greek gods can be a handful too in their own way, but they're actually more usually more fair-minded. Oh, what am I talking about? They're all bad from time to time, and you have to throw them all out on their ears every so often. Today was the don't make me an atheist day. I actually said that. I said, one more god does one more thing, and I'm going to become a goddamn atheist, I swear. Every god got super quiet. <laughs> uh, so yeah, guys, sometimes when you deal with Loki, he's just, he's going to be petty, and he's going to hurt you on purpose, and you're not going to understand why. It's just, we found out from talking to each other, it's part of his divine nature. Um, He could have been jealous that um, Odin was getting my attention even though he set it up. He's a good god for setting stuff up and getting mad about it. He could have been upset over anything. The weather could have changed, but he seems to run in cycles with us. So if he's being a bitch lately, he's a bitch. It happens. And if he's being really good to you right now, wait, wait, it'll come out. It doesn't mean he hates you, he, especially if the people he loves, he, he tends to treat the people he loves the worst. Um, why he felt he had to rub my face in something while I was already feeling down, it's just Loki's nature. He could have been jealous that Oler got attention for the snow. He could have been jealous that um, Odin got attention. He could have been just being Loki. You never know. Because you'll ask him why he did something. He literally has no idea why he did it. He won't tell me. Or he'll make up some bullshit excuse. When all else fails, he will cry. Because he knows. I, I'm like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. He will do it. Odin will do it too. They'll, they're will they they're both good at it. If they're losing an argument, they, they I've seen them both start to cry. And I'm like, oh my god. And then like five minutes later, I figure out it was horse shit. And they, they just did it because they knew I would stop and they would win the argument. I hate them both. So <laughs> they're both on timeout. <laughs> Uh, hopefully they will get back into my good graces. We will be back tomorrow, I'm sure, but, you know, it's, sometimes you have to throw them out on their tiny little ears, so, if you guys like what you see, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.